Hello, my name is Kitsubaka and welcome back to my channel. I am now back and welcome back to Shiba's Root. This is part 11, I'm pretty sure. Now, I'm not too sure what's going on in this episode, but we'll find out. Maybe I'll beat the game, maybe I won't. Um, but, uh, you know what, I kind of hate uneven numbers. So, like, I might end it on episode 12 instead of episode 11. You, you, we'll, we'll see, you know what? Anyways, let's get into the first event, let's go. Boom! There's Sheba, holding my hand, technically. I'm saying hello to him. Hi, Seto. Whoa, Sheba, what are you doing here? Well, I'm your biggest fan, after all. It's only natural for me to come here, isn't it? All right, your signature here, please. Ah, right. Then I'm going first. Do your best, Seto. Uh, you're going already? Well, I don't want to keep you all to myself. There's a line behind me. That's a shame. I want to talk to Sheba for a bit longer. Let's meet up later, okay? Yeah, see you later. Mm-hmm. Sounds pretty good. Let's go on. Oh, wait, never mind. Ha! It's finally done. The sun is set and the fan meet is finally over. Good work today, Seto. How was it? Well, it was tiring, but meeting so many fans made me so happy. I still have no idea why I even have so many fans to begin with, though. I just hope they didn't think I was a letdown after meeting me in real life. What are you talking about? The fans look so happy to meet you. They might find you even cooler in real life. I'm not cooler in real life. I'm absolutely lame. I'm just letting you know. Well, I certainly hope that's true. Anyway, you must be t very tired today. You should go home and sleep earlier tonight. Yes, sir. I said that, but my favorite anime is airing tonight. I can't possibly miss it. You definitely can't stay up late to watch late night anime. Got it? Ugh. Tochan knows me too well now. Oh, I thought an event with Shiba was going to take place, but I guess not. You know what? Let's just continue. Hmm? Hello? Shiba, it's me! Oh, Seto, what's up? Well, it's about next week. Next week? Next week's Christmas, isn't it? Do you want to spend the day with me? Oh, this will be my first time spending Christmas with someone other than my family members. I'm going, I'm going, I'm definitely going. Where are we going, Seto? Where are we going? Okay, okay, don't get too excited now. He's exactly like a dog who gets excited over being taken on a walk by his owner. I can't help but get very excited. In fact, I might not be able to sleep at all this following week due to this excitement. Eh? But... I'll try my best to sleep on time. You really should. Anyways, I'm really looking forward to Christmas Day now. I'm looking forward to it too. Anyways, what time should we meet? Hmm, whenever is fine with me. Around 6 o'clock then. How about it? Sure thing. Hmm, that means I'll be need to get going by 2 o'clock if I don't want to be late. Why? Well, because I'll definitely get lost for at least 3 hours. Is he really serious about this? I think he is. You know what? I'll just pick you up at your place. You will? Thanks. It's a pain to do, but it's better than having him waste 3 hours getting lost. Oh, how about we do a gift exchange as well? A gift exchange? Whoa, that sounds super exciting. I'm in. All right, then. I'll do my best to pick the best gift ever. That being said, I'll need to get going to the shop now. You're going now? Yep, I'm too excited to wait. He really is easily excitable. See you later, Seto. Yeah, see you later. All right, I had better make my way to the shopping mall and purchase some Christmas gifts. Hmm, what should I buy as a Christmas gift? Now, what would our boy... Sheba enjoy. Well, we know that this is sh this is Shu. We know that that is uh, Toru. We know that uh, this is Hiku, a necktie. The only ones that wear neckties is fucking uh, Tochan, which means we need to buy Sheba some premium chocolate. Should I buy a premium chocolate? Buy it. All right then, let's go with this one. I really hope he likes this premium chocolate. He better like the premium chocolate. You know how expensive that shit is? All right, I've bought the gift. I hope Shiba likes it. He better like it. If he doesn't, I'll have to fight him. Let's go on to the ski trip. Actually, you know what? I can put it in the same recording file because it's the very next day and I'm too lazy to cut and redo it, you know? So we're gonna go ahead and visit Shiba at the good old restaurant because it's Friday and I know his fucking... I know his, his, uh, the way he goes, I don't know what that's called, a routine, I know his routine, so we're gonna go ahead and just hang out with Shiba and wait until Saturday, which is gonna be the night of the ski trip, we're gonna go ahead and save that right there, and, uh, well, it's just as 11, we spent the day with Shiba, so you know what, we're just gonna go to sleep. Ski trip time, here we go, I knew it, I'm smart, what do you mean? The train will board soon, is anyone here? I'm here, me too. Hmm, it sure is confusing when you guys talk at the same time like that. All right, to make sure no one's missing, let's take the attendance. Attendance, this isn't a school trip, Tochan. 
Seto. I'm here. I've also bought, lo bought lots of snacks and save your chatter for later. Next, Shiba the Yotaro. I'm here. Oh, I've also bought lots of candies we can all share. Next, uh, I got cut off. Anyways, next, Kazunori Toru. He is here. Ah, right. Of course you're here. Silly me. Toji, you're looking a bit stiff. Why don't you show Tochan your best smile like this? You know what? I feel as if when we were doing Toru's route, I feel as if it would have been better if he were to actually do the real smile that we enable him to do when we were doing his route. But you know what? This works perfectly fine. Yes, yes, very cute. Isn't he cute, Tochan? Um, yes, very cute, I guess. Yeah, of course he is. Well, it seems that everyone has gathered here already. Are you sure any of you haven't forgotten any of your luggage? I only bought, like, once... I only bought one set of spare clothes. I'm pretty sure I haven't forgotten it. That's not something you should be proud of. I made sure to pack all my snacks yesterday. I certainly hope you didn't forget to pack your clothes as well. No, no, of course I brought them. Well, I think. He doesn't sound so sure. Anyways, let's get moving. The train shall be different, right? Yeah, okay, let me sit beside you, Shiba. Oh, sure thing. I take a seat beside Shiba. I have lots of snacks here. I brought some myself. Yay, let's exchange them. Hooray! What an easygoing bunch. Ah, <sighs> when will we get there? My butt will be completely flattened by the time we arrive there. The more you think that, the longer it will feel. Oh, you make a good statement once in a while. That's why. Play another round of cards with me? So that was his purpose all along. No. Eh, why? Then Tochan san? No thanks. Another rejection. Ah, I know I can always count on you, Toruchi. Sorry. Well, even Toruchi rejects him. Damn. Oh no, my last hope. Well, you have been playing cards for the last three hours. Aren't you bored of it already? Not really. Even though your lie kept getting discovered, she was a total open book. Every time he had a joker, he would always make this funny face. Blah, 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 blah. We know what's going on here. Let's just, you know what? Let's continue on. There are three rooms in total, so we'll have to split in pairs. I'm paired with Sheba, of course. My honey bunny. No, wait, he's not a bunny. He's a dog. My honey doggy? I don't, I don't know. Got it! Yeah, I can't wait to do this and that with you. What do you mean by this and that? You'll know when night comes. Okay, I'll be looking forward to it. Hmm, then who should I pair up with? The only one. You should pair up with Toruchi, Tochan. That is gonna be something else. I would love to see Toru and Tochan in the same room. That would be kind of funny. But why? He's working at your agency. You need to take better care of him. That's an unexpectedly sound argument coming from you. But still... Now, now, he might look like this, but he's just a sweet cutie pie inside, right, Toruchi? And I'm pretty sure Tochan is gonna make that sweet cutie pie into a cream pie. <laughs> oh my god, that was a bad joke. <laughs> into a cream pie. Oh my god, I need to stop that. Stare. I can't really see that, unfortunately. Alright then, it's decided. Tochan will room with Toruchi. Alright then, me and Toru will be in room 5. Seto and Shiba in room 6. And Shu in room 7? Since when did Shu come along? What are you on about? Here are the room keys. Shu's not even here. What is he talking about? Let's be- What the fuck? <laughs> Let's be back here once- I can't get over that. Shu's not even here. <laughs> It's okay though, you know what, it's fine game, you just, I, I understand, I get that way sometimes when I was doing this stuff, you know, I just copy and paste, you know. Here we are, it's a nice room, isn't it? It's a uh, two single beds room, that's disappointing, I prefer one double bed to make it easier for flirting and fucking. I can hear people talking from the room next to us, I think it's Tochan-san's voice. What? Oh no, the walls are pretty thin, so I guess I can't do this and that. Damn, there goes half my excitement for this trip. Once we dropped our luggage in our rooms, we come to the skiing area. Alright, I can do this. I immediately storm off my snowboard and ouch! I immediately fall on my butt. Huh, that hurt. Whoa, you okay, Seto? I'm okay. Really? Are you sure about that? Yes, of course. Phew, I'm glad to hear that. Jeez, please don't go run off by yourself all of a sudden like that. I was really worried, you know. Sorry. Still, I'm glad you're all okay. Thank you. At least someone cares about me. Yahoo! Shiba effortlessly slides down the slope on his board. Ah, this is unfair. Why are you so good at this, Shiba? Well, I've been skiing ever since I was a kid. And I've also been good at most physical activities. This is injustice. Hmm, skiing is a great way to relieve stress. Why are you so good at this too, Tochan? I thought you were my comrade. Really? I think my skiing skill is average. What? Making such a sharp turn out of nowhere isn't just average? Is that... If that is what is called an average, what does that make me? A fucking failure, like always. Not only Toshan and Shiba, Toruchi? They're all super good at skiing. At least Shu's not there because that would be so confusing. I'm the only amateur one here. Uh, I don't want to be it. I want to be able to ski coolly like too. Cheer up, Seto. You will definitely get better at it. After all, you're so talented in everything you do. I'm sure you can learn how to ski in a minute. 
Put too much trust in me, Torochi. Yes, the path to success isn't an easy one, but hard work won't betray you. Let's begin some Spartan training, and let's go on to the next scenario. Phew! I'm getting kinda hungry. Well, it's about time for dinner, huh? Should we get going back and we all know what happens next? Yes, let's get back there. I wanna eat dinner as soon as possible. And now we know what happens next? Never mind. Him and his usually gluttony. Well, I guess I'm kinda hungry too. Alright, let's then. Let's get going and we know what happens next. Okay, never mind. Shiba hurriedly goes off on his own. That's the wrong direction though. Whoops, I'll just follow right behind you then. We proceed to make our way back to the lodge, and we know what happens next. Yeah, there we go, I got it right this time. Whoa, the snow seems to be coming down harder. Yeah, I can barely make out our surroundings. This lodge is still far away from this place, too. And I'm not even sure the lift's even operating in these conditions. Ugh. Let's just keep moving, Seto. I'm sure we'll eventually make it there. Thanks to Shiba's optimism, we continue to make our way forwards, hoping to eventually reach our lodge. Oh, from afar I can see a silhouette of a cottage. Excited, I immediately run off towards that place. Whoa, wait for me, Seto! Look, Shiba, it's a cottage out of nowhere. Hey, we can take a temporary break while we wait for the storm to subside. Hooray for the conveniently placed cottage. Hooray! Alright, let's get inside already. Okay. It's freezing. Oh, apparently we can make a fire here. Do you know how to do it? Not really. The anime I watched didn't get into it that much details. It just magically lit up. Oh, well, let's just try it out. No harm in trying. Go, anime knowledge. Yeah, that's definitely gonna work. Oh, it's really working. Good job, Seto. At least we won't freeze to death now. Ah, uh, chew. Whoa, are you okay, Seto? It still feels really cold, though. <laughs> really? You don't seem to feel cold at all, Shiba. Hmm. Well, I have tons of muscles that help me keep warm. You mean fat. It's not fat. Well, I guess some part of it is fat, but there are muscles, too, you know? Fat is just a type of muscle that isn't... Um... You know what? I don't know the whole thing behind it. You know what? Still, I'm really envious of your thickness during times like this. Then come here, come here. I'll share some of my warmth with you. I move closer to Shiba and proceed to give him a hug. Whoa, this is warm. You are really warm, Shiba. Snuggle, snuggle. I don't want to move from this spot ever. It's fortunate that I eat a lot, right? Yep, yep. I could just fall asleep like this. Are you going to sleep on top of me? Well, I can use your bouncy chest as my pillow. It's not bouncy, is it? It is. Have you tried feeling them up? <laughs> Eh, <laughs> why would I grow up my own chest? I'd look like a total weirdo. Well, I like to feel myself up at times. That makes you a weirdo, Sato. I'm not. Still, this is really a bummer. What is? My plan of having sexy time during the night of this trip is all ruined now. We're not gonna do it in right here? I'm glad you're being bold today, but I'm not really in the mood for it. It's very damn cold in here. I don't want my dick to freeze to death. <laughs> it's rare to see you rejecting sex, Seto. Can a penis even freeze to death, though? I, I don't... I don't... I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a fucking biologist. Hmm, kind of curious about it. Maybe I should browse the net when I'm back. You should save your curiosity for something more important. Like what? Like the gay Kama Sutra. What, what is the gay... What is a Kama Sutra? One second, guys. Oh, okay, I get it. Sounds pretty nice to me. <laughs> Alright. Hmm, what is that? It's something very important to our life, apparently so. Yeah, it's very important to our life, he may say. Oh, I'll look it up later then. Good, now we can have more varieties in our sex positions. Is that what it is? Okay, cool. I think the storm has stopped. Oh, you're right. It's very quiet. It's very dark outside, though. I think it would be better if we wait until tomorrow morning to return to the lodge. Hmm, you're right. Still, it's boring to stay cooped up inside all night. Let's take a look outside. I storm off outside the cottage. Hey, wait for me. No. Look at the stars, they're beautiful. Yeah, you don't really see them all very often in the city. I guess this one, this is one of the perks of us getting caught in the blizzard, right? I guess we're sort of lucky, huh? We end up watching the stars all night. Mmm, all night, is sexy. <laughs> As soon as the sky gets brighter, we immediately head back to the lodge. There, our friends are already waiting for us. Seto, Shiba, you are back. Thank God you two are safe. Sorry for making you guys worried. Sorry. No, no, it's okay. We just cuddled. <laughs> we just cuddled to comfort each other of you guys is uh, missing. Hashtag Toru and Tochan, like the number one ship you'll never realize, but now I'm making you realize it, and that's what I'm saying, you know? <laughs> Who wouldn't want this puppy? <laughs> the nagging can wait until later. So he's still going to nag us? Growl. What was that weird sound? It's probably the sound of my stomach. Me too. I'm hungry. Oh, come to think of it, you guys have eaten since yesterday's lunch, right? Yash. That's not good. You guys should eat immediately. 
Well, sure, why not? All right, it's time for us to board the train back home. Let's take our, let's take attendance again before we go home. What, again? Of course, we don't want anyone getting left behind. All right, first of all, Seto, I'm here. He's behaving like we're in a school field trip until the very end, and that's very Tochon-like. It is very Tochon-like. And just like that, our stormy ski trip comes to a close. Ordinary days are waiting for us again tomorrow. <sighs> I don't want this trip to end. No, I don't want it to end either. Because there's a fun little Toru X Tochan story in my mind. No, I'm... Yes, there is. Anyways. Fuck it, I'm doing it. It's a violation of my channel, but screw it, I'm doing it anyways. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be finishing this episode. Well, no, this route on this episode here. Episode 11, I'm please so... Goddamn uneven numbers, but I really want to because I'm really hyper today And I don't think I'm gonna get that hyper ever again I also however am going to possibly try my best to hurry this up a little bit on the count that I'm recording a second video That's gonna be up on the channel possibly soon as well I'm not too sure you know in my mind sometimes I look at videos that I've recorded and I'm just like nah This isn't good enough. It's a little bit different, but you know what? I might as well try it But anyways guys let us continue into Christmas time with Sheba. Let's go Oh, it's time. Today is Christmas. I've got a plan to meet up with Shiva tonight at 6 o'clock. I hope he didn't get lost on the way there. We were supposed to pick him up. What the fuck's going on? All right, let's get going. I don't want to make Shiba wait for too long. Merry Christmas, Seto. Merry Christmas. He's still wearing just a fucking hoodie. How are you doing this? Whoa, yeah, I was gonna say. Whoa, don't you get cold wearing just that thin jacket? Nah, really. It's not really cold today, is it? I don't know. It seems to be. It snowed just yesterday, though. It can hardly be called warm. I really envy his thickness during times like this. Oh, right, this is your gift, Sheba. I hand him the gift I bought several days ago. Oh, this is for me, thank you. Oh, can I open it? Yeah, sure, it's yours now. Okay, I'm opening it now. Oh, this is... It's premium chocolate. I've been craving this for months. Thank you so much for this. Well, I guess I picked the right gift for him. I have a gift for you as well. What is it? What is it? Wait a minute, he turns his back to pick up a giant box here it is well this box is humongous i could be inside <laughs> open it open it all right i'm opening it i open the rat box i take out a giant thing inside the box well it's a teddy bear oh it's a classic brown teddy bear stuffed toy it's big and fluffy do you like it? I like it. Why a teddy bear though? In case you get lonely and nice, you can hug that stuffed toy and think of it as me. But if it's true that the doll is somehow similar to him, big and fluffy, hmm, in that case, shouldn't you get a dog stuffed toy instead of a bear one? You know, since you're a dog and you are not a bear, but that'll be too realistic and I'll get jealous over a stuffed toy. Hmm, I see. A dog's a rivalry towards other dogs really can be underestimated. Anyways, I'm feeling so hungry already. Is this joke over yet I've been doing it for almost every single fucking route and I just keep doing it <laughs> me too let's go to the restaurant already yeah you know what you know what <laughs> I'm gonna just keep it playing I'm gonna try not to sing along whoa the restaurants very crowded today usually there are only three to four customers at most but today that all the tables are filled it's Christmas after all whoa you should load up so suddenly. What's wrong with me being in my restaurant? Hello there, it's you. You guys are always together every time you're here. Why, is there something wrong with that? Nah, you guys are always so lovey-dovey. I'm feeling kind of jealous. <laughs> I know, right? Ugh, that smug laugh. I regret saying that now. Anyways, what would you guys like to order? Anything is fine. I'm hungry. I'd love to have something different than usual. You know, since it's Christmas and all, that's going to be hard considering you've probably tried out all of the menu items in this restaurant. Hmm, why don't you guys try our fortune dinner then it's a special item just for today hey that sounds interesting fortune dinner what the hell is that that sounds really suspicious well it's like a fortune cookies but it's a full course meal instead during dessert time you will receive a fortune cookie with a reading of your love life mm. well even if you don't like fortune telling i'm recommending it taste wise as well i'll have those then what about you seto i'll have that too then more likely anything's fine but i'm just so hungry okay okay for the sock for the sake i thought i was gonna say but no it's up for the sake of the poor hungry Sedokun, I'll pro try to prioritize this table's order. Woohoo, thanks a lot. It's rare for you to be this kind. Is this a Christmas miracle? Do you want me to take back my offer? No, don't. Sorry, you've always been kind of a... As a goddess? Uh, you know what? <coughs> the music is messing with me. Alright, I'll be back soon. Phew, saved. 
Huh, I'm full. My stomach is filled and I'm now feeling happy. There's still dessert left, you know. Don't worry, I've still got some space for it. Well, even if you didn't, I would be glad to eat it all up. Oh, there's our dessert, speak of the devil. So, this is the fortune cookie thingy? Seems so. I wonder what's written in it. Let's see. Oh, I've got a good love life ahead. Oh, hmm, mine is... Bad. Does it mean our future is doomed then? Nah, fortunes don't always come true, you know. It's... if it is... if it's good... Believe it. If it's a bad, just forget about it. That's my motto in life. Hmm, you're right. Now I'm all cheered up. Well, since our stomach is full now, where do you want to go next? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Sorry, I have no idea. I used to stay home every Christmas, so my knowledge is very limited. Hmm, me too, actually. It's the first time going on a Christmas date. Oh, do I hear some lost lambs needing help? Whoa, another surprise ambush. Why don't you go see the giant Christmas tree in the shopping mall? We did that with, um, Toruchi, too. I think the only one we didn't do that with was, like, Shu and Hiku. I didn't record that, but no, I don't remember doing that with Hikaru. You know what? Maybe I do it with Totan, too. You're surprisingly knowledgeable regarding this. Wisdom comes with age. Hmm, I see. How old are you again? I sense a murderous aura emanating from her. Hmm, maybe around late 20s? Oh, you flatter me, boy. Suddenly her mood is all good again. Don't be silly, Shiba. She's definitely much, much, much older than that. Shut up, Seto. Don't ruin my mood. Anyways, the giant Christmas tree is a shopping mall, huh? Well, that sounds amazing. I want to see it, Seto. Well, let's go then. Have fun. Yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful... Christmas tree by well ju thank god Jingle Bells is done <laughs> well judging from how crowded the place is it should be whoa it's big like my cock there's nothing special about this about it aside from its size though like my cock <laughs> really I think the way it lights up is in the dark is very big like no very pretty never mind I thought it said very big <laughs> I was gonna be like like my never mind well if you want to stay here then I have no complaints it reminds me of my home somehow why we always had a Christmas tree set up in the house whenever it's Christmas day it wasn't this big though hmm I've never really celebrated Christmas with my family really why well because I've never really had a real family don't get sad Seto you have me to celebrate Christmas with you from now on hmm I didn't particularly feel sad though oh well I'll take you up on your offer you have to celebrate Christmas with me every year. It's a promise. Yes, let's steal that deal with a pinky pinky promise. Whoa, this place gets even more and more crowded. Maybe we should take our leave now. She wait, where is he? Is he lost? Well, it gets lost even in the least crowded place, so I guess it is understandable. Now time to search for him. Hmm, the place is very crowded. Searching for him is going to be hard. Oh, that tall figure loitering, loitering around all over like a lost dog. Shiba here. Whoa, finally. I was so panicked when I lost you. Wait, there. I'll go over there. Whoa. Ouch, I accidentally fell on the hard concrete while trying to reach Shiba. The place is just so crowded. Seto! Shiba bravely walks toward walks through the crowd to reach me. Are you all right, Seto? It's all right. I'm just a little injuries here and there. Whoa, that's not good. Shiba hurriedly lowers his body, rests one of his knees on the ground, and moves his back towards me. Get on, I'll carry you on my back. Eh? I can walk just fine, you know. No can do. I don't want your in injuries to get worse because you're forcing yourself to walk. I'm really fine, though. Still, I'm not going to reject the opportunity to be piggybacked by Shiba. All right, then, I'm hopping on. Here it is. I knew there was going to be, like, a picture that we kind of had with Toruchi. Let's get... Out of this place. This place is really crowded. It's making me dizzy. Okay, so which direction should I go? Oh, right. You need a direction. Turn right. Okay. Then on that corner, turn left. Yes, sir. Woohoo. I love this feeling. I feel like I'm riding a horse somehow. Am I a horse then? Nah, you are a dog. Hey, I'm not that either, am I? But it sure feels like I'm mounted on a horse. A big and reliable one. Oh, did you just say reliable? That's not too bad. All right, then. I'm a horse from now on. There it is. You know what? Gotta take that. Screenshot that. Bad boy. Boom. Just like that. Okay. Before long, we're already outside the crowded mall. Phew. At least we've escaped that overcrowded place. So what should we do now? We should get you back home, Seto. Eh? Already? The night's still young. Well, yeah, but you've got an injury, Seto. You need plenty of rest. I don't need a rest, and I don't want to go home yet. Come on now. Give me the direction so I can get you home as soon as possible. Eh? I don't want that. I still want to be with Sheba more. In that four-way intersection, should I turn left, right, or go forwards? Well... Ah, shit. I don't fucking know. I have to decide this? Oh my god, you're kidding me. Why you put me on the spot like this? Um, turn right. Okay, got it. 
Why does it feel like we're getting, we aren't getting any closer to your house? Well, that's because I don't want to go home yet. What? So all those directions you gave me were the wrong ones? Come on, let's take a stroll around here a bit longer. It's Christmas after all. Do you like getting piggybacked that much? Yes, I like it. Your back is so broad and it's a really comfy place to be. I do a lot of back exercises, that's why. It's also very warm. I'm warm. I'm getting a bit sleepy. My ankle is killing me. Oh my god. I think I can fall asleep in this position. Hey, don't sleep just yet. You need to give out the direction or we might get lost forever. That sounds like fun. It's not as fun for me since I'm carrying a burden on my back. Hey, don't call me a burden. Whew. We must have been walking around for like 40 minutes. I'm amazed my back can last this long. This is definitely the fruit of all those back exercises. Um, so how much more should we walk around? As long as possible. Eh, my poor back. I mean, isn't it a given to want to be with your lover for a bit longer? Eh, blushes. I want this moment with, with you to last as long as possible. Okay then, as you wish. We kept walking around the neighborhood, receiving stares from the surrounding passerbys. We kept talking about meaningless things, but it was a lot of fun. I wanted it to last longer. She was broad back, was very comfy, and made me feel safe. He started getting tired after an hour, though, and we ended up going back to our respective homes soon after that. And that marks the end of our Christmas day. It was a beautiful story, man. Such a good story. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. So good. Such a good story. Such a good storyline. Anyways, no. Okay, so let's get into... Let's just get into this. I'm probably not gonna... The next event is gonna be probably the end. Because I'm not gonna make you guys sit through the whole Seiyu Awards ceremony on the count that it's not gonna be any different from what I discovered from the last one. But, uh, either way, you know, I'm going to see you guys really shortly. And we're probably gonna be done this one. Oh, man. It's making me kind of sad. Who's next? Tochan is next, by the way, in case you're wondering. And then we have two other characters that... Um, you'll never know about it, but we'll find them out, you know? Anyways, guys, I hope you guys... Wait, 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 what? I'm not ending it yet. Just go on to the next clip. James, you're confusing everyone. Oh, hey, by the way, let's see if we won this reward this time, you know? My heart won't stop beating, and the winner of the Seiyu Award is no matter what the results are, I'll have to accept it, and it's probably me. Look at me go. How do I win this? Now let's call continue on to where it begins with the actual ending, you know? Let's go. Alright, here we go. He said, hey, nice speech back there, Seto. And I'm like, phew, I was super nervous. I could hardly believe you were nervous. You were shining on that stage. Really? Haha, <laughs> you flatter me. Well, aside from the part mentioning your lame nickname, for me it was passable, I guess. Why? I think Tochan is really a great nickname for your long ass and pain to call name. Toshiyuki, it's not that difficult. I've already said this before. Yeah, I mentioned your name too, Toru. Don't you worry, buddy. Now, dear guest, you're free to eat from the buffet. I'm just gonna continue clipping because we know that this is where it, like, happens. Congratulations again for the award, Seto. I'll definitely steal the spot from you next year, though. Be prepared. Well, if you had taken the two big roles, I would have definitely lost to you, right? If he hadn't rejected the two big roles he had gotten thanks to his parents' connection, he definitely have the... He would definitely be the one to win the award instead of me, is what I think that should say. I don't feel any regret about it all, though. Not one bit. Oh, what the fuck? Besides, I'll definitely get the same level of roles as those in the future, so it was just a delayed thing. Haha, <laughs> you're right. And next time, it will be all due to my own capabilities and effort. Yeah, she was very hardworking and puts a lot of effort in his work. I'm sure people will recognize it someday. I sure hope so, and I sure hope that this is the best ending, because I'm going to cry if it's not. I guess that means I'll have to be even more hardworking from now on. I have to attend extra voice acting classes even more often. You've already... You're already very hardworking, though. Don't overdo it too much, or you'll burn out. Hmm, I guess you're right. And besides, if you do that, we'll have less time to meet each other. And I don't really want that. Oh, yeah, me too. I also don't want us to spend less time together. <laughs> I guess we think the same, huh? Oh, you're being too cute. Did he just say something? Hey, Sato, it might be too early for me to say this, but what is it? If I manage to win next year's Seiyu Award, if I can prove that I can do something with my own power, would you? Would you what? Would you? Would you? Uh, I can't say it. What is it? Just say it already. Okay, let me prepare myself again. Three, two, one. Would you please live together with me? Whew, I said it. Well, 
that kind of came out of nowhere. Sorry, I definitely got too overboard, didn't I? It was just... I want us to spend even more time together. I mean, I don't think I can live without you anymore. Well, me too. Oh, then you agree to my proposal? Hmm, well, one thing kind of bothered me, though. Hmm, what is it? Why does it have to wait until you win next year's Sayo Award? Why can't we just live together right now? If we live together, I can do this and that. Every day with Shiba, I can even make him wear naked aprons. I can ogle him while he's taking a bath and more. Well, I, I, I too would really love to do it right now, but I still don't feel like I'm truly an adult. I still don't feel like I'm capable enough person to not become a bother to you. That's why, please wait until I can prove it otherwise. I see. Oh, well, I guess I can wait it only for a year after all. Yes, I definitely won't disappoint you. <laughs> I really can't wait for next year. Me too. Suddenly. Stares meaningfully. Whoa, the bear from the love hotel? Since when is it here? Wait, more like, why is it here instead of managing the love hotel? Dot, dot, dot. The bear writes something on the paper he carries around. I'm glad for you guys. Here's some condoms to deepen your relationship even more. Thanks, buddy. The bear then hands us some condoms and proceeds to leave the place immediately. I appreciate it, you know? Wait, this just feels like deja vu. What was that about? The bear is really mysterious. Oh, well, since the bear was kindly giving us some condoms, let's use them right away. Eh, right now? Yep, you don't want to? I want to. All right, then. Let's go to your place immediately. I want to take off that suit's off. <laughs> yeah. Suits look really sexy on him. I guess so. I mean, I, I could agree. Mmm, don't be teens. A year and a half after that, which means I think I got the best ending. I guess we'll find out in the next episode. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Let's continue. Yawn. Seto, please stop slacking off and help me unpack the items. Eh, I'm too lazy to move around. Can't we just leave those items in the boxes? It's much easier that way. No can do. It will definitely lead to a huge mess in the future. We've got to arrange this, the items in the proper places. This is my new background, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. Jeez, you've become a clean freak ever since you got into that master student relationship with Tocha. Well, since I'm going to live together with you, I have to be the clean freak one. Otherwise, our room will definitely be too un... totally unlivable for humans. Well, I guess he has a point. Last December, Shiba won the Seiyu Award. The promise was to live together immediately after he won the award, but the reality was it took her another half year to get all the preparation done. But finally, finally, we're going to be under the same roof. <laughs> Oh, all the things I can do to him now. Come on, Seto, stop daydreaming and help me unpack the items already. Okay, okay, he won't stop whining like a doggy unless I help him out. Might as well do it now. Alright, help me get up then. I extend both my arms waiting for Shiba to help me stand up. Jeez, you really are spoiled sometimes, but you love this me, right? Of course. Anyways, up you go. Shiba promptly takes my hands and gets me up. Now that you're up, help me unpack this box, okay? Okay. I had better unpack this box as, box as soon as possible so I can return to lazing around immediately. I begin opening the box and one of the things inside the box catches my attention. Oh, this is so nostalgic. Inside the box is the Seiyu Awards trophy that I got one and a half years ago. It hasn't been long enough for you to be nostalgic. You know, it was just around a year ago. Now, now, I'm a man who cares more about my future than my past. Oh, yours is here too. Hehe, <laughs> yeah. Shiba looks at the, award, at the award affectionately. This is the first trophy I've gotten purely with my own capabilities. You'll get a lot more from now on. You sure about that? Of course. Well, I'm also not going to lose to you. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, let's hurry up and sort the boxes now. We can't get distracted. Okay. Back to, back to the box sorting then. Phew, I think we're about done now. I'm so tired. Yeah, I'm all sweaty now. Ooh, all sweaty. And that kind of makes my dick hard somehow. Eh? Why would you get hard hearing that? I can't control what my dick does, you know? <laughs> I proceed the guy to hit Sheba's hand to touch my hardening dick. See? It's already all hard. Oh, Sheba's face quickly reddens. All right, let's do it. Come on, come on. Well, I guess. Wait, no, we can't. Why not? Well, first of all, we're all sweaty. That actually makes it a lot more arousing for me. Let's do it, let's do it. Wait, the second reason is more important. Second reason? Have you forgotten it already? My parents are going to visit us tonight. We need to get prepared for the revival. Whoa, you're right. I've got to make a good impression on them. I'm going to steal their son, after all. Well, I've already told them lots about you. They think you're a positive influence on me, so I think they uh, have a pretty good impression on you. Phew, thank goodness. I don't have to score any more brownie points, then. 
So what time will they come again? I think they'll come around 7. We'll have we'll be having dinner together. Wait, that means there's still another two and a half hours left to do it. We're still doing it? Of course, we still have more than enough time to do it. Still, I want to take a shower first, but you take forever in the shower, Shiba. What if we don't make it in time? But I'm all... I am really am all sweaty and dirty now. Alright, let's just go inside the shower then. Problem solved. Eh? Oh, let's do it inside the shower, my bad. It's okay, isn't it? We especially chose this place because it had a big bathroom. Besides, it's not our first time doing it inside the shower. Right, we did it on our first night together too. Still, I sneakily come in. No, I come at Sheba from behind and place my hands to grope his penis. Whoa! See, you already heard too. You can't wait to do it, right? Well, it's because <laughs> you're groping it. Come on, let's do it. I bury my head on Sheba's wide back in an attempt to convince him with a cute gesture. Ugh, I can't reject you when you're being this cute. All right then, but we'll definitely finish this one round. We'll finish this in one round, okay? No second or third rounds this time. Okay. <laughs> I wonder what will happen to us in the future. I can't know for sure, but I do know one thing. No matter what it is that happens to us in the future, I'll have Sheba by my side. Sheba by Otaru's best ending. What lies in the future? Look at us go. That's the end of that episode there. That's the end of that episode. That's the end of, yeah, this is the end of this episode in that route. So I do hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. I will see you guys in the next video. I'm going to be starting Tochan's route because, well, that's the one that's up next. And then it's probably this guy and then this guy because you know these are... These are selections you can select. You you know this. Come on. You already know this. But anyways, yeah. So, we got all these boys right here. And look at that. Four out of four. Well, I, did, I still got to record Higuru's route, which I will do eventually. I'm not too sure when, but I know that I was really into Shiba's route, really into Torochi's route, and really into Shu's route. So let's see what Tochan's route awaits for us. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this longer episode. I don't know how long this episode was, so I can't really say longer episode. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, make sure to leave a like, and I will see you guys in the next video. Kia Tsubaka, out.